years after Jonathan, amen, had died and his father saw in battle, amen, God still had them on his mind. That's it, right. man. I don't care how long it takes, Pastor Smith. Mm -hmm. When you have God's attention, All right. come on, somebody. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People might not want to show up. That's come right. on, All right. come come on, on. somebody. People might not want to push you. But when you've got God's attention, yeah. way by and by, He will send somebody, somebody. Yeah. to help push you to the place yeah. that He wants you to be. All right. Am I right about it? Amen. Amen. Saul, amen, were killed in battle. And David asked his servant, amen, to go and find out if Jonathan had any family left that he could show kindness to. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And is there anyone still alive there? Uh -huh. Amen. And he wanted to do something good for them. And they told him that Jonathan, amen, had a small crippled son. Mm -hmm. Still living by Mephibosheth, amen. Mm -hmm. He was living in extreme poverty, mm -hmm. run down the city. Yeah. Yeah. He was crippled from childbirth. Right. Yeah. You would think, amen, that nothing good was going to happen to him. All right. But how many know I don't care what state you may be in? All right. I don't care what situation you may be facing. Yeah. When God gets ready to move in your behalf, he will make it all right for you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on, somebody. Amen. He lived in a rundown area. He was the grandson of a king. He had the right rights. He had the right privileges. But because he didn't know his position, All right. All right. he stayed there suffering. All right. He stayed there in lack. All right. He stayed there in want. All right. He stayed there in pain. Because yeah. that's right how we are today. We don't know our position. We don't know who we are. Right. We are the royal priesthood. Right. We are the holy nation. Yeah. We are the people that call those things as not as going on. Yeah. Oh, I wish I had a church. Yeah. Amen, amen. He was the grandson of the king with right privileges. Then yeah. because of the covenant, amen, David had with his father. Right. Amen. But the problem was he didn't understand what covenant meant. Right. Amen. He didn't think, amen, he had, amen, changed David. Amen. Long time ago. Yeah. Right. Saul chased David all over the place. Yeah. Right. Trying to kill David. Yeah. Right. Come on, somebody. Yeah. But still, God still saw fit. All right now. Come on, somebody. Yes. Right. To still bless his Lord. Yes. Right. And don't you know some of y'all getting blessed because of your grandmama prayers? Right. Right. Somebody prayed for you, but you didn't know they was praying. All right. Right. Good things happening to you. You wonder why they happen to somebody praying for you. Yeah. Well, I wish I had a church. Oh, yeah. Amen. After, amen, all that his grandfather saw had chased David through the wilderness for years. Yeah. And on top of that, this young man was crippled. Right. He had so much coming against him. He had settled, amen, for his indifferences. Right. Amen. He had, amen, convinced himself that he got what he deserved because of how his granddaddy acted. But how many know that's what he know his my thoughts? Oh, yes, Come on, somebody. How many know that he got good out of me? Come on, somebody. Right, yeah, yeah. Somebody sung a song that they Marvin said he saw the best in me. Yeah. Even when anybody else couldn't see, God saw the best. Yeah. Am I right about it? God saw the best in this man. Come on. The Bible said, amen, that, amen, he was crippled and run down. Yeah. Amen. He convinced himself that he got what he deserved. But David said to his servant, I want you to go get the young man. Oh, hallelujah. So that I can do good because of his father. Right. Amen. It wasn't because of Saul, but because of the covenant, amen, David and Jonathan had. Right. Every time Saul went to kill, amen, David, his son, own bloodline son, went to David and said, Daddy, I'll for you. Right. 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 You got to understand what covenant means. Covenant go behind past blood. Right. Come on, somebody. I don't care if you my sister, my brother, if I come to with my sister here, it go past blood. Right. Amen. Because when I get in trouble, amen, you might can't pray me through, but I got somebody right. that can hold on to that will pray me through. Yeah. Oh, come on, somebody. I want you to know, amen, that David, amen, told his servant, I want you to go get the young man. Yeah. And not only that, I'm not only going to do good to him, but I'm going to give him back all the land, amen, yeah. that belongs to his family. Yeah. Amen, when Mephibosheth came, amen, to first greet David, yes. he bowed down to him, come on, and said, oh David, amen, can't you see, mm 
I'm just like a low now dirty dog. See, that was the problem right then and there. He saw himself in this pizza. You got to see yourself as being more than a conqueror. You got to see yourself being above and not beneath. You got to see yourself being the head and not the tail. You got to see yourself being a winner and not a loser. You got to get the right mindset that if God is able to do anything but do. Hallelujah. That was the problem now. He had already made plans to stay there. In the state that he was in, he came from the right bloodline, but he didn't know who he really was. Hallelujah. Some of us came from the right bloodline, but because of disappointments, but because of failures, but because of loss, we sit back and allow the devil make us feel like God has forgotten about us. Oh, I'm gonna praise him because I know the finish 